Welcome to the 11th video of this series, Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 videos about 30 different Excel templates in 30 days. In this video, we're going to talk about weighted moving average, what's the concept behind it, and also we will look at our template, which will help calculate the weighting, weighted moving average for you for any stock. Now let's get started. In the previous video, we talked about simple moving average uh, after we introduced the technical indicators, we talked about simple moving average. One of the criticisms of the simple moving average is that it gives equal weight or equal importance to all the days. So I think, um, let me go to the concept sheet to explain what I'm talking about. And when we wanted to calculate a moving average, simple moving average for five periods, we just took an average of these five price points. So these are the trading dates, these are the closing price points. And all we did was, let me zoom in a little. So all we did was just take the average of the points. That is the simple moving average. The criticism is that it gives equal importance to all the five days and not giving more importance to the recent history. And that is where the weighted moving average comes in, where the weighted moving average um, will actually try to assign a weight to each of the points. So let me um, use the, again the five period example. In this case, the for the five days, these are the weights that will be given. So the most recent date will give the weight of five because it's a five period moving average. Um, and then the previous will give it will be given four and then three, two, one. So how do we now calculate it? So the calculation is here. I will just highlight it. We take the prices, we multiply by the weights. So 235.99 multiplied by one plus 237.58 multiplied by two and all that. And we add all of them together and then divide it finally by the total weight, which is 15. So you see that in my formula, I'm just dividing it finally by 15. Now, again, this is if we are doing a five period weighted moving average, you can imagine if we do a 10 period moving average, the weights will be from one to 10 and then the total weight will be the sum of one to 10. So this is dynamic, but conceptually we are taking the overall weight and read and distributing it, giving more importance to the recent history. So that's weighted moving average. And we, this is how we calculated this. And if we go um, and look at our chart here, which shows what the weighted moving average looks like compared to the price. So the blue line is the closing price and then the orange is the weighted moving average. And you can see that it's, you know, it's still kind of closer to the pricing, but it's a little bit smoother. Um, and then we'll talk about how our template will help make it easy for you to calculate this. But hopefully this explains how the weighted moving average is different from the simple moving average. Simple moving average gave equal importance to all the data points in the window. Weighted moving average assigns more weight to the recent dates compared to the older dates. That's it. Now let's go back to our template and um, explain how this works. In order to pull the his, uh, data for any stock, you will just type in XNAS. Um, oh, this is the NASDAQ stock exchange. In your case, if you're interested in some other stock exchange, you will type in the stock exchange abbreviation. And then I'm going to just type in, let's say Apple, AAPL, so now it's going to go ahead and pull me the history and you saw that it took maybe a second, um, very, very quick. Um, and uh, this is pulling the data from the Microsoft Excel service. And if you have Microsoft Office 365 or uh, the free Excel for the web product, then you will be able to get this automated data update. Now here, this is a weighted moving average and we are seeing a six month history on display here and I can change this to year to date or one year um, and you'll see that this is a one year and I can go up to five years in this template and let me go back to year to date now let me go back to six months so we have some data points here which are clearly visible I can also change this from daily to weekly so if I have um Every data point is uh, for one week. Uh, one week has one data point instead of every day. And so you can also change it to monthly. So now for the last six months, I can see monthly. So let me switch back to daily and with where we have some interesting data points here. The two parameters that we can change here are the length, which is 50 periods so 50 days right now. Uh, and then I can change this to maybe 20 and you will see that it get updated. Um, so you can change the length of the moving average. 
You can also change whether it's the uh, what we are plotting. Is it the closing price, which is the most often used, but you can also change this to um, opening price, or you can change this to volume, for example. So it's flexible. You can change it how you want. That's a lot of fluctuations there. Um, so let me go back to closing to illustrate um, the buy and then the sell, those two, the red circles and then the green triangles. The buy signal, as the as I've listed down here, is if the value, the, the the basically the price here, crosses from below the moving average line and moves into above, right? So, if we take any data point here, let's just use this one. Okay, so I'm looking at this one around November 17th ish or November 20th. We see that the it is called as a selling point, and that's because the 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 price line went from above the moving average line to below and then that's why it's a sell signal and on the opposite side when the price line goes from below to above the moving average then that's a positive trend and so um, it's going to go up and you would want to buy um, in that case so that's the trading signal strategy that we have calculated in the formula based on what i read in the book and you know what is considered um, as possible signals. This is what it is. Again, there is no rule. There's no magic rule. People can use their own methodology and uh, calculations to determine when to buy or sell. But this is just to illustrate how we can put our own methodology into Excel in a formula and automatically show the signals on the chart itself to make it much more easy to take action on. So that's what this template is about. Uh, I think we covered um, the concept of the weighted moving average and also how you can use this template to create your own weighted moving average line and the trading signals for any stock just by typing in the stock. For the next video, we will be looking at another type of moving average, which will address one of the criticisms of both the weighted moving average and the simple moving average. I'll give you a hint here. So if I go back to my concept sheet, you will see that we we talk about weights, but you still see that we only take into account those five days and we completely ignore what happened in the history. So the entire history before those five days do not play any role at all in the weighted moving average. So that's one of the criticisms to say you're completely ignoring the com history. You're only looking at that five period or 10 period or 50 period, but what happened prior to that is ignored. And so tomorrow's video, we will talk about a different type of moving average, which will address or attempt to address that concern. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thank you.